the question is if tan alpha is minus 12 by 5 and if alpha is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees we have to find the solution for this fraction that is sin alpha plus cos alpha whole divided by 2 cosecant alpha minus tan alpha the question they have given us that alpha is from 90 degrees to 180 degrees 90 degrees to 180 degrees which means that alpha is in second quadrant. Let me draw the Cartesian coordinate system. This is our positive x-axis, negative x-axis, positive y-axis, negative y-axis. This is our first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. So our alpha is from 90 degrees to 180 degrees which is in second quadrant. Next they have given us that tan alpha is minus 12 by 5. For all, the definition of tan alpha, that is tan theta, is y by x. Second quadrant is having negative x-axis. So, therefore, our x-coordinate will be negative. x-coordinate will be negative. Our y-coordinate will be positive because second quadrant is having positive y-axis. y-coordinate will be positive. Therefore, tan alpha will be equal to y divided by negative x. Therefore, now we can write the data that tan alpha is equal to 12 by negative 5. Because x axis is negative in the second quadrant and y axis is positive in the second quadrant. So, this will be the correct way to represent the given data. We can say that the value of x is equal to minus 5 and the value of y is equal to plus 12. But we don't know the value of r. So in order to find the value of r, let me draw this right angle triangle. This is our right angle and this is our angle theta. So the side of the triangle which is opposite to the angle 90 degrees is considered as the hypotenuse side and is represented by r. The side of the triangle which is adjacent to the angle theta represented by the letter x. It is called the adjacent side of the triangle. And the side of the triangle which is opposite to angle theta is considered as the opposite side of the triangle and is represented by the letter y. The value of r will be always positive. But the value of x and y will be negative or positive depending on which quadrant the theta lies. Value of x can be positive or negative. Similarly for y it can be positive or negative depending on the axis. In order to find the value of r we can use the Pythagoras theorem. That is for all r square is equal to x square plus y square. So therefore r is equal to square root of x square plus y square. So the value of x is minus 5. So therefore it will be minus 5 the whole square plus the value of y is 12. So, it will be 12 square. This will be equal to root of 25 plus 144 which is equal to root of 169. So, root of 169 is always 13. In this case, it will be either positive or negative 13. But the value of r will be always positive because r is always considered as the length of the hypotenuse side of the triangle. The measured length can never be negative. So therefore r will always be positive. The value of x and y will change depending on the quadrants that is depending on the axis. Therefore r is equal to 13. This will be our value of r. Now we have the value of x, y and r. Next we have to find out the values of sin alpha, cos alpha, cosec alpha and tan alpha. First one is sin alpha. So the definition of sin theta or sin alpha is always y by r. The value of y is 12 and the value of r is 13. So therefore our value of sin alpha will be 12 by 13. Next is cos alpha. The definition of cos alpha is x by r. So the value of x is minus 5 and the value of r is 13. So therefore we will have minus 5 by 13. Next is cosecant alpha. The definition of cosecant alpha is r by y. That is the reciprocal of sin alpha. So r by y. The value of r is 13 and the value of y is 12. So it will be be 13 by 12. Next is tan alpha. The definition of tan alpha is y by 
x the value of y is 12 and the value of x is minus 5 so now we can substitute the values in this equation and complete the problem we have sin alpha plus cos alpha divided by 12 cosecant alpha minus 5 tan alpha sin alpha is 12 by 13 so it will be 12 by 13 plus cos alpha the value of cos alpha is minus 5 by 13 so it will be plus whole of minus 5 by 30 divided by 12 into cosecant alpha the value of cosecant alpha is 13 by 12 so 12 into 13 by 12 minus 5 tan alpha so 5 into tan alpha the value of tan alpha is 12 by minus 5 so it will be 12 by minus 5 in denominator 12 and 12 will cancel out each other and 5 and 5 will cancel out each other so we are left out with in numerator we have common denominator that is 13 so it will be 13 in the denominator of numerator then we have we have 12 minus 5 12 minus 5 is 7 next in the denominator we have the denominator we have 13 plus 12 minus into minus will be plus 12 plus 13 that is 25 so our answer will be 7 by 13 into 1 by 25 which is equal to 7 divided by 25 into 13 is equal to so 13 into 6 is 65 and 13 into 2 is 26 plus 6 is 30 2. So it will be 325. 7 divided by 325. Our final answer will be. This will be our final answer. If you understood the concept, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video. Thank you.